Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 illegal photos smuggled out of North Korea. So North Korea doesn't let tourists take any photos, but some visitors and journalists do come here and secretly take photos. And here are some of the most shocking photos they've ever taken. So guys, be sure to like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply to all of you. So, coming in at number 10, we have eating grass. So, this is a photo taken of an old North Korean man collecting grass from a public space and putting it into a bag. But this guy wasn't trying to start his own garden or anything. His plan is actually to eat the grass. And although that may sound funny, when you find out why, you won't be laughing. Because of the massive food shortage in North Korea, many citizens have to resort to eating bizarre things to stay alive, such as grass, wild berries, and sometimes even rats and roadkill. And it's not just this guy doing this, thousands of starving North Koreans are forced to do this every day. But next up, we have gunship. So, North Korea obviously isn't a nice country to live in. So, why would anyone stay there, I hear you ask? Well, if somebody wanted to escape, they'd be instantly killed by a North Korean soldier on a gunship. It's this female army member's job to shoot down anyone trying to escape North Korea by swimming over to China, which is very close to North Korea. And there's a few reasons why North Korea doesn't want their citizens to leave. Firstly, because if they could, they would all leave to nearby countries, such as China, destroying the North Korean economy, meaning that Kim Jong-un and his family would have no power and no country. Country. And also because if somebody escapes, they might give insider knowledge that makes North Korea look bad, which people have done before, such as giving information about the infamous North Korean death camps. But next up we have barbed wire. So I know I was talking about escaping the country in the last one, and I said anyone who tries to swim across shore from North Korea to China would be shot and killed. Well, if anyone even wanted to get in the water, they'd have to go through this first. North Korea has barbed wire fencing, which is also electric, going for miles and miles down its coastlines to ensure that no one can be arranged to be rescued by a boat and so that no one can swim away. And for the few people who do try and climb the barbed wire and get stuck in it, police walk up and down the wired fencing every day and if they find anyone stuck, they're either killed or taken to a Work camp where they work for no food or free time until they die. But next up we have not enough resources. So this photo is very illegal, and that's because it shows a critical failure of North Korea, that being their lack of resources. Because North Korea tries to make themselves look really good around the world, but really they don't have much at all, as you guys know from the guy who had to eat grass. And although you might not have noticed it at first, this photo is of North Koreans trying to get on a bus. Because there's quite a large population but very few amenities like buses, public areas and schools, North Koreans sometimes have to wait days just to get on a bus. And by the looks of how many people there are, compared to the number of buses, they're going be waiting a while longer. But next up we have child labor. So this photo is very sad and it shows how desperate North Korea is to look good at all costs. So this may look like any old farm and it is like any normal farm except the people who work there are all children. And North Korea would hate this photo being out there because it shows that they don't have enough skilled people such as people who are able to grow food for the country. So they have to resort to using children and these kids work very long hours with no breaks and almost no pay. And they're also kept a close eye on by a god-like person who works at the government owned farms. But coming up next we have barricaded roads. So we all know that North Korea isn't shy when it comes to warfare, and they're not just prepared in terms of having lots of guns and bombs, they're also quite well equipped in terms of their defense. One very paranoid thing that the North Korean government has done to almost every road is to barricade it with metal fencing, and even huge concrete blocks. And the reason for this is to prevent blocking the roads that would stop them from being able to move around the country if war ever broke out. And even though there is no immediate threat of war, the government are very paranoid and have prepared for this, and unfortunately now the only view drivers in North Korea are gonna get is of huge towering concrete walls. But next up we have Secret Army. So North Korea has one of the largest armies in the world with around 7.7 .7 million soldiers. But that's not because all citizens are very patriotic, it's because they have to be in the national army by law. And obviously they have their regular army units with guns, tanks and missiles, but North Korea also has a secret all-female army unit which use much more unconventional weapons. They actually use huge katanas which are traditional Japanese combat swords. But I'm not sure if these women would ever be used in actual war because I'm pretty sure with all of the other countries trying to destroy them with bombs and guns, a sword wouldn't do much to help. But what I do know is that these women are used a lot in parades and celebrations put on by Kim Jong-un. And they also have to do a weekly show just for the enjoyment of Kim Jong-un and his high-ranking government friends. But coming up next we have dangerous buildings. So this is another photo that North Korea would hate for me to show you guys. And that's because it shows that North Korea isn't as modern as they'd like you to think. So when I show you this photo you might assume it's in a poor area or maybe the people on the ropes aren't serious construction workers. But no, this is in North Korea's capital city and it turns out that the government provides very little safety gear for its workers. And if you think I'm being annoying and just pointing out problems that don't exist, well hundreds of North Korean construction workers die every year by falling off buildings and from other construction injuries. 
batteries because they don't have stable supports, safety helmets, and sometimes the construction workers don't even have enough money for tough clothing so they can get injured very easily. But next up we have desperate business. So this photo would be very illegal to bring out of North Korea. Basically, there's a big issue in North Korea. The people are very hungry, but there's also not very many jobs. And because North Korea is a communist country, and that's sometimes okay if there's jobs for people, but if there's no jobs given out by the government, it doesn't work. And because of this, it's illegal for North Koreans to set up their own businesses, so some people just have to set out a table and sell random items just to survive. But if they ever got caught doing this, the woman and the kids would be sent to a work camp to work until death. But next up, we have shopping restrictions. So, this is a photo of a North Korean store. And you may be thinking, why didn't the guy who was eating grass just get food here? Well, only the richest and most powerful North Koreans can shop here. And even they can only get North Korean foods. If you want to buy imported goods, then you have to be or be related to a high-ranking member of the government. And even then, you can't get very much. Because a lot of places have a trade ban, meaning that they don't sell stuff to North Korea. So, North Korea usually has to import things to China and then bring them back from there. And if you don't believe me about the lack of food, just check out how small that that shopping cart is. But yeah guys, this is definitely a photo that North Korea doesn't want you to see. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the craziest photo. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.